Hello everyone and welcome to the next part of my Pokemon Dark Rising Let's Play. I'm sorry if you couldn't really hear anything of my intro. That was, be yeah, that's because I was talking too fast. Now let's uh, redo that battle against uh, that insane girl with all, with, yeah, with all her level 56 Pokemon or something. Hopefully I'm gonna win, I honestly don't know. Uh, you send out Electros, uh, yeah, by the way I put a different Pokemon of mine up front and I decided not to use any uh, rare candies for once. If I lose now, then I am gonna use some, some rare candies to quickly finish this girl, but I'm gonna try it one more time like this and otherwise I'm gonna train them all to like level 56 or something but now but now yeah that, that, that's it for the, that's it for the talking so I'll now start doing dragon pulses and shit and you are probably gonna poison me or something or no you, you use, use a full restore well that's amazing as well luckily you die now now you're gonna send out Altaria well Altaria is actually not really that good yeah you're dead now so far I'm off for a good start as a matter of fact and now you're gonna send out your uh, rock uh, flying Pokemon by now, I had already lost two or three of my Pokémon, so I guess playing tactically is sort of good. And I'm gonna go for the Crab Hammer, that should do a bit of damage, but you, you know Hyper Beam, which is rather annoying as well, obviously. Let's go for my Hydra, but of course you know a Rock-type move, but now I'm gonna try to do uh, some damage while, re while, uh, while recharging. Well, he's recharging anyways. Now you're gonna send out Samurots. Okay, but now now this shit is getting hard, you know? Now you start digging and shit, but I'm I'm levitated, so you can't do anything now. Scald, well, that finishes me off, unfortunately. But I can still go onwards, I think. <laughs> I honestly don't know. Exizer finishes you off. Now you'll be sending out Infernape. What moves does my, does my Cerberus have? Not really that many, so I'm gonna switch out to my Yormungand, or no, maybe my Athena, yeah, Infernape is a partial fighting Pokemon, so Psychic should do a little bit of damage. You know Shadow Claw, for which I hate you, but maybe I'm gonna be able to keep, uh, I'm gonna be able to beat you or something? Probably not, but I mean, I could still try now, huh? <laughs> Earthquake finishes you off, and last but not least, you send out Torterra, against which I can use some of my Pokemon, luckily. Uh, let's go for the Flamethrower, that should do a little bit of damage. And you don't even go for the Earthquake, so that's your demise. It appears that I won, without having, uh, w w without needing the uh, rare candies, that's amazing. I have no shame, you were the better trainer this time. Huh, it was a really fun battle to watch. Yeah, Dre, you, f you fucking shithead, you suck. You're good, I wonder it though. The three of us together, our parents, were all connected. You think this could be destiny? Ah, oh, drama, this is good. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> this is a big plot twist. I'm out of popcorn, shut up, Dre. Yeah, I'm, I'm still wondering, are they like a couple or not? <laughs> Alright, Dre, I have, some I have some questions to ask you. Yeah? I'm blown away by everything that's been happening since I started my journey. But once, but, but once that's been bugging me is your Pokemon, Dredigan. I remember my father having the only one to be ever seen in the core region, so how did you get one? Seriously, me nor Flurna are not from, are, are not from the core region. We're from Sip. This grammar, my goodness, my god, sometimes I can't even read these sentences. Uh, they should really, like, like the, the ROM creator should really check this out, like, like get, get the grammar checked out, because, I mean, this is just making it, uh, it's ruining it, sorry, for, for me it's partially ruining it. We were from Sinnoh, uh, and we've both traveled through the Unova region, well that explains it. Oh no, the town up ahead is known as Salem. Uh, there's a lot of dangerous, dangerous witchcraft going on there, I advise you to proceed with caution. Me and Florina will be secretly investigating this town. We're trying to find Amaris. As far as we know, uh, she's the only one who hasn't been captured by Darugis yet. Who is Am who is Adamis? I don't even. <laughs> I'm getting confused with all these names. They sound so alike. She's on the run there. Uh, we believe she's hiding in her old mansion near the graveyard. Not only that, but there's been reports of missing children in Salem. Darugis obviously has something to do with it. So Amaris was one of the trainers who defeated Darugis years ago. That's right. With her help, we'll stand more of a chance of stopping Darugis. I'm all, I'm all the trainer. I'm all the trainer we need. We'll need. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Well, it sort of makes sense. I can't wait until it shows itself uh, and it, and I crush it into the ground. Anyways, hey, good luck, Arno. Uh, new and evil challenges await all of us. Yeah, sure. Too much talking for me. <laughs> oh boy, I've already spent like f almost four minutes, barely even doing anything. Now, hello there, swallow uh, and shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna win against you. That's basically it. Let's go for the Dragon Claw or something against you and Flame Tower against Whimsicott. I don't know which direction to go to, so first I'll go to the left. And hopefully I'll be able to reach some nice place. Now I want to learn Iron Head. That's some special head if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, just kidding. I'm gonna get rid of Flame Wheel, obviously, because Iron Head is better. And, I, and I've still got my Flame Tower. 
Okay, now uh, it appears that this place is just a dead end, so I should have just gone downwards, of course, follow, follow the rest, I guess. Now I'll try to avoid these trainers, and this is the uh, the version of, yeah, of Lavender Town, which explains why, why they were talking about ghosts or something, or spirits wandering about, if I remember correctly. Now what do you have to say, you mysterious old man? Spirits roam this town. Well, that's amazing. <laughs> Very helpful. Very good for the tourism uh, industry, I think. <laughs> no, why did I let my little brother go to the forest? Why? I hope he's okay. Well, your little brother is not okay. He's dead. My little bro is missing. This ain't right. Well, yeah. <laughs> you're so big, you mean... You, you don't even need a little brother anymore, because you're so fat. You, you you take in enough... You, you, you use enough space on your own. All of my friends were gone, and I was scared that I'll be next. I don't want to go to bed tonight. Uh, blah, 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 start crying. Jeepers Creepers is gonna come for you. It's become very unsafe for the youth in this town, and they seem to disappear into the forest at midnight. I see. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna stick around here for here at midnight. I'm still about, I'm still about like 10 years old if I'm not. Repel more off, too bad for you. Hello, I'm the official name rater. Why are you so cheery? For fuck's sake, people are like disappearing. Do you believe in ghosts? Yeah. Really? So there are believers. Yeah, but I'm not a believer, okay? What, what if I say no? <laughs> I guess not. That white hand on your shoulder? I'm just imagining it. Boom, boom, boom. Another plot twist. I come here to... I come here to pray for the dead souls of people and Pokemon. I hope my daughter comes home. From now on, I'm just gonna read these these mistakes, like, deliberately. I'm a trainer who just traveled to, the, to this town. It's creepy, ain't it? Ain't it. You, know, you, you, don't, you don't say it like that. <laughs> The worst part of it all, uh, some type of invisible force field is blocking the way to the graveyard. I want to explore that haunted mansion I heard so much about and maybe catch a Zodua that usually hang around the Rosary Graveyard. Well, that was quite the sentence, mate. Oh yeah, by the way, I'll quickly take a look at the uh, at the at the Mart, the Poke Store thing, and take a look whether I can buy some good shit here, like full heels. It appears you do not have that. Escape ropes, still got two of those, and it appears I don't really have anything that I can buy here. Nope. A waste of time and effort. Viridian? What? Oh no, Volair Forest. I, 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 knew, I, I was like reading Viridian Forest. And this fog is really cool. Now, this is... I don't know what you are. I curse you! I curse you too! And why can't I go to the right? This is rather weird, but I can still encounter Pokemon, like Ferrothorn. Maybe uh, the, the ROM creator forgot to like make it possible for us to like walk on that or something. Let's keep on going. I want your soul! Ah, oh, how nice of you! <laughs> I love you! Let's go for the crunch and go for the bite, and that should probably kill you too. Here you go. I, I was gonna try to make it rhyme or something, like, I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna crunch and I'm gonna bite, and I'm gonna like do something with it, rhyme it with smite or something, I don't know. But yeah, I I'm a big failure. I am not some sort of, uh, I don't know, English genius that I can quickly rhyme anything, so yeah. <laughs> it's still not my mother tongue or anything, so yeah. Let's keep on going. I don't know what's happening. Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck is happening here? You. It's a bad time. You again. No way I could feel the jewel of life really close. But how But how could he be this deep in the forest without the mist guiding him? Unless he's the third person Florina told me about. Uh, I'll make you pay for what you did to me last time. <laughs> you're, you're pathetically weak. Uh, you're pathetically weak. Yeah, w w without the apostrophe, of course. Why would I waste my time with you? Well, I've grown, I've grown from our battle before. This time, I'm gonna beat you. But before that, how's you? What? Quench. You see, your problem is uh, you think too much without knowing any knowledge at all. My name is Light. Oh, so your name is Light. That's a very cool name for an evil person. Very, uh, it really does make sense. Uh, I am a descendant of the god Arshus. What? Wait, so so you're a child of Arshus? I don't even know who he, I, I don't even know who he had sex with in, or, in order to conceive you. The protection of Arshus has been passed down by uh, down to my family for generations. When I was born, the first thing I saw was the jewel. I'm not saying I don't believe you, but I'm getting a bad aura from you. Are you on the same side as me? No, I follow my own direction in this war. And then, then step aside so I can get the jew. Wait, what's wrong with those kids? Are they the kids who've suddenly gone missing from Salem? The children are so free spirited; they have all the time in the world to have fun, laugh. They think their life is all about fun and games. I simply showed them how it feels to have your soul drained. Life is a prison. They needed to learn the hard way. That's it. I'm gonna defeat you and make you free the souls of these kids. You say you're, you're a descendant of Arshus, but you're doing evil work here. 
As I said, I follow my own direction. Thanks for thanks to Arshus, I was born uh, to be slave and worship it. You you were born to be a slave and worship the fact that you were a slave. You're weird. <laughs> Sorry, this is some weird form of bondage or something. You know nothing of my life. Now you will learn pain. A dark Pokeball is summoned to light side. How nice of you. You send out Tyranitar. Tyranitar is partial dark, partial ground, so I can go to my Carcinus, and you should be able to do a little bit of damage. And if not, I'm gonna be really sad. And you're actually not able to do any damage at all. Well, this is really depressing. I'm gonna use a... something, a potion or two on my Pokémon. I don't have any Hyper Potions left, so it appears I'm gonna die. Earthquake, well that does a lot of damage, and you're probably faster than me. Yes, you are. I think I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my ass kicked or something. Now Seth, maybe you can do something. I mean you 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 know X scissor, don't you? Yeah, but yeah, I'm dead. I I'm just fucked in many ways. <laughs> I can't really do anything now, can I? Let's go to my Yorman guns and I'll go for the Dragon Pulses. I mean I can't even beat his first Pokemon, and that's bad, okay? Look, I mean Yorman Gun even failed to do it, and I am probably gonna use some sort of potion or something. Because I know, I know what sort of person you are. Drain Punch, and yes indeed, you use your freaking thing, and I hate you for that. Okay, well it appears I can't really do anything now, can I? I finally managed to kill Tyranitar, now you're gonna send out Rhyperior. Yet again, it is a rock Pokemon. Maybe I can still do something. But you know Mega Horde, and I hate you for that. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out the big guns. I've got one Max Revive, and I'm gonna give it to my... Yeah, this is a tough choice, really. I'm gonna give it to my... Carcinus, yeah. Hopefully, I'm. Hopefully, I didn't make the wrong choice. Carcinus, please do something against Rhyperior. Oh yes, I've still got my Bubble Beam actually, but you do something. I don't even know what move you did, but you managed to rape my ass. Yep, looks like this dude is way too hard for me. Honestly, I mean, his Pokemon, his first one was level 60, and if that's not bad enough, he sends out he sends out a level 64 Pokemon. I think it's rather natural that I lost. Uh, I can't really do anything about that now, can I? Well. <laughs> I suppose I should end the episode now, I mean, I, I mean, oh, I don't know what I need to do now. I mean, my Pokemon are like 10 levels lower than his. This is not normal. Arnold hears a mysterious voice. You are forbidden to enter. You do not hold the power. Now leave. That sure is a very mysterious voice. But now, sorry guys, you guys are going to freak out, but I'm going to train all my Pokemon to level 60. That is a lot, I know, but then again, these Pokemon that I'm, that I'm, ha yeah, that I have to battle right now, they are really strong as well, so I can't do anything about it. So now I'm just using a lot of Hyper Potion and uh, uh, Rare Candies. Now I want to learn Hydro Pump, which is not bad, but yeah, it misses a lot. It only has 80 accuracy, so I'm not going to teach it to my Pokemon. I'll just keep on going. Surprise! You can also use some of these things. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to split the recording into two, and I'll be right back when all my Pokemon are level 60. And I openly admit that I am cheating. I know that. I'm sorry about that, but you guys would cheat as well, huh? Now you want to learn Fire Blast. 85 accuracy, again, not the greatest, but maybe I can get rid of something. I mean, th this could be pretty good. 120 base, base power and stuff. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of Bites now. Okay. Now I'm going to split the recording into two, so be back in a second. Alright, try number two, I guess. I still got my Yorban Gun up front. I forgot to ch I forgot to like switch him out or something. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna keep on going. Dragon Pulse barely does any damage, but I'm gonna keep on going because I've got the power. Actually, I don't, but I don't really care. Uh, okay, well, one more thing that I can use, and I'm gonna. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad. Okay, flamethrower and Yorban Gun got his ass royally kicked. Now let's go to my Hydra. I mean, I might be quicker than you, uh, so I'm gonna go for the Drain Punch. You, you, you do a Hyper Potion. Well, I've got like a four-time advantage against you, and if I'm quicker than you, then I'll be a really happy man. Okay, now you're gonna send out Rhyperior. Uh, you have a four-time weakness to water, so I might as well try to make use of that. Uh, let's go for the Bubble Beam. I mean, your special defense is way lower than your physical defense. Metagross, I have a Fire Pokemon to send out against you. And I even have Fire Blast to use against you, so that'll probably finish you off. Now you're gonna send out Agron. I can, I'm just gonna stick around and do another Fire Blast. But now it doesn't seem to kill you, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, well, I can still go onwards. Uh, Hydra, maybe you can go for a fighting move. Drain Punch or something. It appears that I might be able to win. Now you're gonna send out Gliscor. That is a... Well, I don't know what sort of Pokemon that is, but I hate him, that's for sure. 
I'll just go for the flamethrower because I know for some reason that electric moves are like, uh, yeah, are like doesn't yeah doesn't affect them. As you can see, I tried it. I shouldn't have probably. Now let's change Pokemon. Earthquake doesn't do that much damage, but still it does enough damage to do a lot of damage if you know what I mean. <laughs> Damn, I, I speak so clearly. Now Athena, please you do something. I honestly don't know what I'm up against, but uh, yeah, first let's try to put you to sleep. You do stealth rock or something. I don't know what you did. Let's go for the psychic now. Well, it appears to do a little bit of damage, and you just woke up in one hit. That's that's amazing. And what the fuck is that? What? The I'll put you to sleep, that's for sure. Kunarp. What? Avoided the attack? No, you gotta be shitting me. Okay, well, there is... I think I know what sort of Pokemon this is. I think. I'm not sure. Y you avoid the attack even when you're asleep. This is bad. I'm gonna have to use a potion on my Pokemon. While you're asleep, I should use that. And you seem to stay asleep, and the uh, the Sandstorm seems to, do, seems to do a lot of damage. You're not a pure dragon Pokemon, that's for sure, because you can't kill me in one hit. But now, yeah, you're probably gonna win. That's all I can say, pretty much. Uh, maybe I should, like, revive my Pokemon? I still got a couple of, rev a couple of revives left. Uh, well, which Pokemon should I, like, revive? I'm gonna revive my Hydra for once. You must recharge and all that shit. I'm just gonna have to wait, I think. Dragon Claw does a lot of damage. Oh, it appears that my water moves can still do a little bit of damage. There you go, you're dead now. And now, last but not least, you send out that goddamn Gliscor out again. And I hate you for that. But I'm still gonna try to kill you. Oh, it appears that you are a partial ground Pokemon, Gliscor. Well, that explains a lot. Uh, I'm gonna revive a Pokemon again. And again, and again, and again. <laughs> no, sorry, that, it, it's a bad impersonation of a YouTube video. Okay, Carsonus, please finish him off with, yet again, a Bubble Beam. You do another roost, and I hate you for that. I really do. And it appears that you're gonna kill me again with your earthquake. I I'm seeing some sort of circle here, really. Okay, but now I'm, I'm getting pissed, you know. Uh, I'm gonna do a revive. That's one thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna use it on my Carcinus, and I'm gonna use a potion on my Carcinus as well. Because it appears that I'm not gonna be able to win now, and I really do want to win. Potion on you, and your earthquake doesn't seem to hit me or anything, so I might as well revive a second Pokemon as well. Uh, which one should I pick? You're a partial ground Pokemon, so I need something with water moves. Yeah, I'm fucked. I really am. Uh, Yorban Guns, maybe you can do some shit as well. And now I need to do something, and I don't know what. Oh, Drain Punch, that's probably what I should have done. And I really hate the Sandstorm as well. Look, what's up with all that shit? Oh, I'm getting so frustrated right now. Uh, revive, I'm gonna revive my Athena, because I've got a feeling that Athena has some sort of advantage as well, because you're a partial uh, psychic, po uh, partial poison Pokemon. First thing, I'm gonna put you to sleep, and hopefully you're not gonna wake up anytime soon. Psychic, that does a little bit of damage. Maybe I'm gonna be able to kill you now. Uh, if, you, if you're gonna do another roost, I'm gonna be really mad at you. Yep, you do another roost, because you are a despicable creature, Gliscor. Look at that, and he's gonna go for another roost, you know that? You know that? Just look at this! Roost! Oh, that's a freaking orgasm, that is. And the sandstorm and... Oh my goodness, you get a critical hit. Are you shitting me? Are you guys seeing how... How stupid this Pokemon is? It's getting on my nerves. Dragon Pulse, can I kill you? No, I can't, and I died. That deserved an applause. Arno. Good job, Arno. You officially lost against Gliscor. You got Gliscor raped. Is that even a turn? Why did I lose against... What? Okay, you guys saw this battle. Was this my fault? Please leave a comment down below. Right now, I am like, I don't know. I I'm awestruck, if you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. Great. This is amazing. Should I use five more rare candies on all of my Pokemon and make them even more overpowered or not? I don't know. It's up to you guys uh, to decide. What did I do this episode? Well, I beat one trainer. And I got to this town, and this is about it. This is about everything I can do. It appears that I'm fucked. It really does. I mean, this is freaking overpowered. I mean, you, you, you can't get around this now, can you? Oh my god, I'm getting so pissed off right now. <sighs> I'm so mad. <laughs> oh boy, well, I'm gonna have to get over it, I guess. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Really, I didn't do anything this episode, and I really hate myself for it. I only beat one girl, and I got to this town, and then I was like, Hey, I'm gonna win against this red-headed dude, but apparently I'm not able to. Because this red-headed dude is way too good. 
But I learned a lot during that battle. Uh, I learned that I need my fighting moves, I learned that my electric Pokémon is a really good asset, and I also learned that my, um, yeah, that th that that Glide score is one pain in the ass with the Roost and stuff, so I might as well give my Water Pokémon, I don't know, like, I, I can level him up to level 100 or something, but of course I'm not gonna do that, but yeah, you guys can leave, you guys can leave a comment, I would really appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. I am really depressed right now. This is why I somewhat hate this game. It's way too hard. It really is. I mean, in the beginning of this episode, I was battling level 50 Pokémon. In the middle of this episode, I was encountering level 40 Pokémon. And now suddenly, it's like level 65 Pokémon thrown at me. This is way too hard. Okay, well, anyways, I'm gonna leave now. Goodbye.